hearing from family and friends of the two women who died in the crash. They're being remembered for their commitment to the high school's marching band. CBS 2's Jennifer McLogan is at the school tonight with more. Jennifer. Good evening. The county executive has ordered flags flown at half staff across the county in honor of the beloved teachers here who lost their lives. We spent the day speaking with family and friends, those who loved and admired these inspirational women, considered the heart and soul of the marching band program here. We're all devastated. The whole family is. The immediate family of victim Beatrice Ferrari spoke from her home, overcome at the outpouring of love and prayers, flowers and food coming in from across the village for the 77 year old retired teacher and volunteer chaperone known as the heart and soul of the marching band program that extended to her own family. Her grandchildren, my, my boys. Uh, I have a senior who graduated last year and she was able to, to do band camp with him and. Uh, and I have another boy who was supposed to go this year, but they turned the buses around. Was it fate that her own grandson traveled on an alternate bus, not bus one, with his grandmother? Her first priority in life was always her, her children and her husband. Uh, she loved her friends. I was just with her on, on Tuesday. Busmate and colleague Gina Pelletier, the devoted and respected Farmingdale High band director, was so deeply intertwined with music and students that Christian Kalinowski dedicated a poem to her when he graduated. And anybody that wanted to play music, Gina was there. She was a resource and she was a mentor. She was a friend. Pelletier was a proud single mother of a two year old boy. Her neighbors in Massapequa said she was like a sister to them. I talk to her every day, yes. She's. Uh... She was a great person, amazing mom, and just, it's really a shock. We leave for work at the exact same time every morning, so we always have our morning chit-chat, and I see her at night, we hang out. Two years ago, we watched her get pregnant and then have little Joseph. In fact, Joseph was here with her Wednesday afternoon, and he was telling me he was going to be Batman. And for I Halloween. Did, for Halloween. Batman for Halloween without his mother. Tragic on so many levels here. Right now, the crisis center is open and will be also remaining open on Saturday and Sunday as this community tries to come to grips with the loss and injury. Live tonight, Farmingdale, Long Island, Jennifer McLogan, CBS 2 News, Maurice Christine to you. Jennifer, thank you. You can feel that emotion there.